Hi scholars, welcome back. It's Ms. Armstrong. This week we are going to be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by creating an artwork in the style of Fernando York. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Fernando York. But before I do, I wanted to show you some pictures. Um, this is the Spanish teacher that used to be at our school. Her name is Senora Solis. And she told me about Fernando York and taught me about his artwork. Um, Fernando York is from El Salvador, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. This is a picture of Senora Solis and another student that went to our school. And you can see all these pictures of all the artwork students made a couple years ago. So we are going to make an artwork just like this one in the style of Fernando York. So let me show you some more pictures. Oops, I went the wrong direction. So some of you may notice this wall. This is the wall. Take a look at what you see. I see some birds. I see some gourds. I see a sunshine. I see some waves. These walls are actually the playground walls at our school at KEA. And these walls were painted and inspired by Fernando York. So we are also going to be inspired by him. This is a picture of Fernando Yort. You can even see some of his pictures behind him. Okay. Um, and Fernando Yort is from a country called El Salvador. I told you I was gonna tell you about that. So let me put this map a little bit closer. We live in California, which is right here. And see where it says United States of America. We are way down here. And El Salvador is right down there. So right below Mexico, right below Guatemala, um, right down here. So it's, it's kind of far, but it's also not too far in the grand scheme of the world. Okay, so Fernando York, he is very important um, and his artwork is very important. He's actually the national artist of El Salvador. And what happened was there was some political and civil unrest, which just means things were not so great at the time. And he moved to a place called La Palma. So let me show you a picture of what La Palma looks like. Now, you're gonna notice all these beautiful birds and colorful, colorful paintings. And Fernando York was, he went to La Palma and he met the people who lived there and he painted um, pictures of birds and nature and houses and crops and lots of flowers and he used really simple colors because it made people feel happy and um, yeah so what he did was he taught all the people who lived in El La Palma his the skill and he helped them become painters too and so now they also um, have a skill that sustains their life and his artwork brought hope and happiness in a time that was not so happy. So everybody say happy, happy, happy. Fernando York's artwork is supposed to bring us hope and light and happiness. So I can't wait to create an artwork with you. Um, we are going to be focusing on Fernando York's birds. So let me show you a picture of one of his birds. This is actually a plate, but it's so cool. Look at those wings are so interesting and that tail feather okay let me see we have some more oh look at that very pretty tail feather here Ooh, and that's a nice big wide bird with a short tail feather and it looks like maybe some corn or a plant up top we can add different things in ours Ooh, look at those long wings and the long tail feather with a swirl. We learned about lines last time you saw me, so there's a swirly line, and I love that they put that plant in the background. And ooh, look at all those. That bird has a funny hat or top feathers. And look at that beautiful tail. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are gonna focus on Fernando York, his artwork. His artwork, everybody repeat after me, say bright colors. I wanna be able to hear you all the way from your house. Say bright colors. Good, say strong outlines. Outlines are these black lines around all of the colors. They make it two dimensional or a flat picture to make it really simple. And that's gonna bring us joy when we look at it. So what we're gonna to do together is we are gonna draw birds. I know this bird is crazy. We're gonna draw birds together and I'm gonna to help you do that. And then here's some birds Miss Armstrong never finished. 
we are going to color in our birds. And by the time we're done, our birds will be beautiful. They will have a body. They will have a beak. They will have some wings and they will have a nice tail feather. So using strong outlines, show me your muscles, say strong outlines, say bright colors. By using strong outlines and bright colors, we are going to create artwork just like Fernando Yort and hopefully our artwork will bring us happiness, joy, and hope. Meet me at the next video and we will get started on our birds.